Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat the Blocks. In this video, I'm going to explain you how a gas cost is calculated for Ethereum smart contract. So here I am in Remix and I've created this simple smart contract to give you an example. So that's a smart contract with a single variable and a function to modify this variable. So I'm going to compile this contract and we're going to have a look at the opcodes that are generated by this. So I go to the compilation tab of Remix and I click on compile, I scroll down, and here I click on compilation detail, and I can see some info about the compilation, so let me scroll down. And here in the assembly section, I can see all the opcodes that were generated by Solidity. These are the elementary operation that can be understood by the Ethereum virtual machine, which is the part of Ethereum that actually runs a smart contract. Each of these opcodes costs some gas, and you can actually check out the gas cost of each opcode in the appendix of the Ethereum yellow paper. For example, every time you call a function, you need to pay 700 gas. For a transaction, you need to pay 21,000. If you want to know the total gas cost of executing a smart contract function, you just add all the gas cost of all these opcodes here. So the Ethereum virtual machine can tell us what is the total gas cost of our transaction, but we want to know how much Ether we're gonna pay for this transaction. So let's have a look at this equation. So on the right, you have the gas cost in gas. So this is the sum of the gas cost of all the opcode, and this is calculated by the Ethereum virtual machine. Then you have the gas price. So the gas price is how much Ether you are willing to pay for each unit of gas. So this is freely set by the sender of the transaction. So if you want, you can set this parameter to zero. But no miner will mine your transaction because this is not interesting for them. So if you want your transaction to be mined, you need to set this gas price at an interesting level for miners. And I'll show you how to do this in the next video. But for now, just be aware that you, the sender of the transaction, decide on the gas price. So when you multiply this gas price and the gas cost in gas, then you have the gas cost in ether. By the way, if you are interested in smart contract and solidity, I've prepared a very short mini course where I give you my best tip for solidity, including how to console log like in JavaScript. So make sure to follow the link in the description and get your hand on this, it's totally free. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can set the gas parameter in your transaction, including the gas price and the gas limit. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.